Look, foreign aid is awesome. It saves lives, creates jobs, and makes Americans safer. Considering how little we spend on it, foreign aid is a bargain. But the reality is, government can't fight extreme poverty all alone. What if we enlisted American entrepreneurs and investors to join the fight too? Here's the problem. Let's say Caroline wants to sell her water filtration system in Uganda, where people really need clean water. She might go to banks for a loan to help grow her business, but it's unlikely they'll take on such a risky investment. Enter the Better Utilization of Investments Leading to Development Act. Let's save me from having to say that again and just call it the BUILD Act for short. Republicans and Democrats are working together on this in the House and Senate, and it does three big things. First, it merges an existing federal agency and a handful of existing programs into a new development finance corporation to support private investment in projects that will help people in fragile and developing countries. Second, it gives that agency new tools to better engage entrepreneurs and investors. And third, it raises the limit on how much money the government can use to back these private sector ventures. We're talking loans, grants, and other guarantees for projects that will help make a difference for people living in extreme poverty. Remember Caroline? Because of the BUILD Act, instead of her good ideas and investment never being realized, she'd be able to go to the new development finance corporation for that loan to help expand her business in Uganda, creating more jobs and helping more people. The BUILD Act would bring tens of billions of new private sector dollars into the fight against extreme poverty. And because of the interest repaid on its loans and other fees, once it's up and running, it would actually put money back into the Treasury each year. In partnership with Foreign Aid, the impact of the BUILD Act on extreme poverty would be really exciting. Now let's work together and get this passed into law.